Hey guys, it's Dave here again, and I have another question from a subscriber, and this is about procrastination. This is the channel where I seem to repeat myself quite a lot, because uh, <clears throat> I have talked about procrastination in a lot of my videos, but I get the same kind of questions coming up um, from people who are having a problem with this. So I'm going to jump into this question and see if maybe it can help you if you're going through something like this as well. So let's have a look at this question. Um, the person asked me to make this video as a response. If you want the response as well, just uh, go to my website or uh, leave a question maybe below in the comments and uh, I'll see if, if I think it can help enough people. But uh, let's dive in here. It says, <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me. I've watched some of your videos on procrastination, but I still can't seem to move when it comes time to take action. I have a severe feeling of anxiety and cannot bring myself to do what I need, do what I know I should do. You mentioned that the process of procrastination leads to low self-esteem in one of your videos. Yes, that's true. It's well, it's, it's kind of like, I actually think the low self-esteem causes us to procrastinate and then the procrastination leads to low self-esteem. So it's kind of like, a, a vicious cycle if you like but you're absolutely right in that I know I'm disrespecting myself but I have come to really resent my laziness and there's that word lazy again okay if you take my course about this procrastination you'll know that there is no such thing as laziness there is coping mechanisms and procrastination is one of those so that's something to maybe think about I hate that I am so uncooperative with myself. And that's a good word there, uncooperative. It's like that internal conflict that we have when we are experiencing procrastination. One party wants to go this way, the other party wants to do this, and you're left in the middle in this, this struggle. So it finishes off here. It says, sometimes I really feel a strong sense of self-loathing. Okay. So there's a lot of self-judgment going on here um, with this person. Why is the reluctance to move so strong and what can I do about it? Okay, so the reluctance to move, why is it so strong? Well, one thing I actually haven't talked much about is the fact that your body naturally will be very reluctant to you taking action in general. It's your nervous system basically has one function. Your brain has one function and that is to basically keep you alive. So if you're in a kind of a, uh, a safe environment, um, you're away from danger, you've got enough food and everything, you know, success as we determine it here in, in the Western world, we'll say, is not very high in terms of evolution on the priorities our brain has. We don't really care if you're successful, okay? We just, your brain just cares, is, can I keep this person alive <laughs> to basically, um, to reproduce really is one of the big ones, but to just stay here, stay on the planet, right? So as long as it's got you safe, it's going to say, why are you moving from this nice safe position that we found ourselves in? Okay, we've managed to avoid predators. We're alive. Where, where are you going? Why are you pursuing that goal? Let's just stay here. So you're, the first thing to do is, is to stop being so harsh on yourself about this because there is this thing of learning to overcome laziness we'll call it laziness just for the, the the shortness of this video but it's to realize that your brain is actually doing its job okay that thing of not wanting to to, to take action not wanting to move is quite, quite a natural thing just so be moving to maybe more grateful a grateful energy or a, more gratitude about okay well simply it's not that i'm a horrible person or i'm lazy or i'm you know anything else anything derogatory it's okay my body wants me to be safe i get that i am safe and remind yourself it's safe to move it's actually okay to move that's where the anxiety is coming from there it's that thing of danger some kind of impending danger okay so stop being so critical of yourself and uh, realize that it's, it's it's part of it is your nervous system now also check out my course at my website on this goes into a lot about your language and in terms of how you schedule things to make your goals seem a lot easier no matter what your goals are you actually didn't mention what your goals are in, in your in your question but it doesn't matter what your goal is all that matters is that you to achieve it 
it will involve taking consistent action towards it. So just realize your brain is lazy. Your brain does not care about your success. Remind yourself it's safe. Okay, I'm safe, I'm safe. And I'm a big fan of affirmations like that to talk to yourself in a certain way to remind yourself that, okay, I'm all right. I'm not in any danger here. And when you do that, you'll notice that you'll start to shift into a more peaceful state of mind and you'll be ready to take more action. So guys, thanks you so much for watching. Hope that question helped a few of you. Um, if you want to contact me, the link is uh, from my website is below. Um, we can do one-to-one -one work together if that's something that you're interested in. Maybe like the video, subscribe and do all those things. If you like my content, it helps me reach more people. And if you have a question, again, you can just leave it below or go to my website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.